Hi, I'm Ken Jacobs. Welcome back to Taking the Lead, or if it's your first time here, welcome. Uh, you know, I'm asked all the time, what are some of the most important skills or attributes for leaders? And, you know, last month we talked about the importance of empathy and compassion. Today I want to talk about a related topic for leaders, which is, you know, the importance of active or effective listening for leaders. So absolutely critical for your leadership success. According to the Association for Talent Development, or the ATD, effective listening offers not one, not three, five valuable advantages for leaders. So here goes. First, it expands their understanding and makes a positive impact on the culture. And we know how critical culture is today for so many in the workforce especially uh, younger millennials and Gen Z. It provides the organization and the leader to a diversity of ideas and potential solutions. And we know that uh, access to a variety of ideas is so important for you as a leader and for your organization. It expands the leader's perspective uh, and enables them to proactively address potential issues. Leaders must get ahead of issues. We know this. Fourth, strengthens relationships, trust, teamwork, and credibility. Sorry. And if you followed any of my writing or taking any of my courses, you know how important relationships are to effective leadership. Trust, teamwork, credibility. Finally, it increases loyalty and it shows employees that you care. And again, today, showing employees that you care is just absolutely critical. I can't imagine there's anyone watching this video right now who doesn't want some or all of these five points. Further, there was a Zenger Folkman research study and that found two important findings related to effective listening for leaders. Number one, leaders with a preference for listening are rated as significantly more effective, significantly more effective than those who spend their time just holding forth. So if you've just been holding forth, you know, you want to shift into a listening preference. And second of all, leaders at the highest organizational levels prefer listening more than supervisors or managers lower down in the hierarchy. So if you want to make that effective jump from managing to leading, effective listening is a critical part of that. And, you know, to sum up that study and really all these points, as someone who was born and raised in the New York City area, if you want to be a more effective leader, just shut up and listen. That's how we say it in New York. So. I hope we've inspired you uh, with some thoughts on how to use effective listening to become a more effective leader. You can reach me via the contact information here on YouTube or the contact page on my website. Till next time, keep taking the lead.